in this session we are going to learn how to use the circuit simulator okay we can use the many circuit diagrams are there in the circuit simulator such as ohm's law resistors capacitors inductors and ac circuits like capacitors passive circuits like rs filters diode diode characteristics and amplifiers transistors MOSFETs, logical families, combination logic, sequential logics, and likes to distill ADC like. Along with these circuits, we can build our own circuits. In this session, we are going to learn how to build a own circuit in circuit simulator. Okay, okay. When I click on the right, when I click the right click on the screen, I can able to visualize some options such as add wires, resistors. Passive components such as capacitor, inductor, and so on. Inputs like ground, two two terminal voltage source, two terminal AC voltage source, and so on. So on. Active components like diodes, zener diode, transistors, op amps, MOSFETs, and etc. And logical gates like inverter, NAND, NOR, and OR, and XOR. Chips like D flip flop, JK, seven segment. Phase comparator, counter, decade counter, and so on. And these are the extra options to write the text and to drop the boxes and extra. This is the option for to drag the components. Okay, we will learn with a simple circuit such as mm, by drawing a series resistor circuit. Okay, for that I need a voltage source and a two resistors. Two or more resistors and wires, right? For that, first I am taking a voltage source. Right click on the screen, then go to inputs and take a two terminal voltage, voltage source of two terminal. This is a two terminal voltage source, and I need two resistors as I am drawing a series resistance. Right click on the screen, add resistor. Click on the add resistor, draw a resistor, and one more resistor. Like this. Now, right click on the screen, click on the add wires. Now connect the components what you are placed on the screen window. Like this. Connect the nodes. When connection is completed, it automatically starts working. You can see here the electron current is flowing from the positive terminal of the source towards the negative terminal through the resistors. And how to check the current and voltage? If I place my cursor on the resistor i can see at the bottom of the black screen current voltage and resistance and the power of that particular resistor the current through the resistor and voltage across that particular resistor and the power at that resistor okay is that correct or wrong we can check like this we can change the values of the resistors also i have i am changing the value of this particular resistor right click on it Edit. I'm taking it as a 600. Apply. Okay. You can see here it is 100 ohms and it is 600 ohms. Okay. We'll check is the is is answers are correct. Okay. When the resistors are connected in series, the sum of the equivalent resistance is sum of these two resistors. That is R1 plus R2. R1 is 100 and R2 is 600. So the total resistance of the circuit is 700 ohms. Okay, I equals to V by R equivalent. That is five by seven hundred. All the sources five volts. We can see here five volts. It is okay. Five by seven hundred. That is equals to seven point one four two milli amps. You can see here seven point one four milli amps. When I place a cursor anywhere in the circuit, I can get the current. Okay, 
as current flows through the circuit will be equal when they are connected in the series when the resistors are connected in series the current flowing through the resistors is same okay and find what is the resistance and what is the voltage at each resistor voltage across each resistor this is the resistor of 100 ohms so r1 is 100 i is 7.142 as the current is same through both the resistors so v1 equals to that is the voltage across the resistor 1 equals to current into resistance current is 7.142 milliamps and the resistance is 100 ohms so total voltage across the resistor 1 that is 100 ohms resistor is 714.2 milli volts that is 0 0.7142 volts and we will calculate the voltage across the second resistance now second resistance is 600 ohms and the current is 7.142 milli amps multiply both of them we will get 4.286 volts okay the voltage through in the circuit is total voltage is the v1 plus v2 that is the voltage across resistor 1 and voltage across resistor 2 some of these two voltages use the total equivalent voltage that equals to 0 0.7142 plus 4.286 equals to 5 volts we will having a 5 volts in the circuit and the voltage across the resistor 2 is 4.286 and voltage across the resistor 1 is 0 0.714 we can see here current is 7.14 milliamps voltage 714.2 milli volts and resistance 100 ohms power is 5.1 milliwatts when i place the cursor on the second resistor i can see that current is 7.14 milliamps voltage drop is 4.29 volts and the resistance 600 ohms power is 30.61 milliwatts we will see one more example uh, by taking a parallel resistance circuit select this and delete this completely press the delete button and right click we need a voltage source two terminal voltage source then right click select the resistor add two resistors in parallel and connect them with the help of wire okay now the circuit is completed let's change the value of one resistor as 400 apply okay now when the resistors are connected in parallel the current will be divided and flows through the resistor depending upon the resistance providing by that particular resistors when resistors are connected in parallel the current will be divided into two parts flowing through the both the resistors you can see observe here the current flowing from the resistor 100 ohms is faster than the resistor 400 ohms okay okay we will calculate and check the values of this one how to calculate the equivalent resistance of parallel circuit parallel resistors that is equivalent resistance 1 by equivalent resistance equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 what is the r1 100 ohms and r2 is a 400 ohms so we will get 0 0.01 plus 0 0.0025 the equivalent resistance equals to 80 ohms 1 by 1 uh, 1 by 
zero point zero one two five equals to eighty ohms, and the current through the resistor one can be calculated with the help of R one and V by R one. What is the voltage across the resistor one and across the resistor two? As they are both are connected in parallel, the voltage is same through the both the resistors. Same across both the resistors. As the voltage is same, we can find the current through the resistor one and resistor two. That is, I one is voltage current across the current through the resistor one, and I two is the current through the resistor two. I one equals to V by R one. V is five volts and R one is hundred ohms. We can see here one by hundred equals to eighty milli amps. Sorry, fifty milli amps. And The current through the second resistor I two equals to V by R two five by four hundred equals to twelve point five milliamps and the total current through the circuit is I one plus I two that is I one equals to fifty milliamps and I two equals to twelve point five milliamps the total current through the circuit is sixty two point five milliamps the total current through the circuit is sixty two point five milliamps you can see here on the simulator. And the current to the resistor one is fifty milliamps, and the current to the resistor two is twelve point five milliamps. You can see on the simulator bottom of the screen. Okay, this is what how to use a simulator blank circuits to create a different circuits. We can use a blank circuit option in the circuits. and you can prepare your own circuits using this option and all these options thank you